what is up you guys this is spidey1997 and today i'm going to be showing you my collection um sorry i've been gone for so long guys um you know life has just been getting rough um you know the pandemics hit and you know we a lot of people lost family members so yeah so a lot of stuff happened in life man so i do apologize um, yeah, it's, I can't believe it's been like what three years since I first uploaded a, uh, or since the last time I uploaded a video on YouTube. Um, so yeah, so it's been three years of absence in YouTube on YouTube. So yeah, so you know, just wanted to give you guys an update how, how you know life has been. Uh, you know, um, I'm, I've been working a lot now, so you know, work has been you know pretty. Uh, stressful lately but you know overall you know it's just how it is so you know it's better it's nice to come home from work and then you know just enjoy your collection and everything so and then you just you know you forget about reality but yeah so enough with the talk so let's get on with the collection so as you can see i don't really i don't have any more mcu figures i um sold them not sold them i'm sorry uh i actually have them on a in a bin so they're not very you know i don't have them on display so you know i do plan on on keeping some of them but i do plan on selling a lot of them because you know i'm just not a huge fan of the mcu figures but overall this is the collection that i have so these are just random figures that you see right here um yeah, it's a little dusty i gotta clean this up but yeah it's been it's so yeah it's pretty dusty but yeah, you can see some characters here. Basically, this shelf is just random characters that I just put here that I couldn't fit. So, yeah. So, that's the bottom shelf. So, let's show off the, the other shelf here. Um, you can see I have, you know, uh, I've um, changed a lot of my display over the years. So, you know, some are the same, some are not. Uh, I think this one is pretty much the same, or maybe I changed a lot too, but I don't remember how the, this this the this display um, looked in 2019. So you know, times have changed a lot, before, you know, since that that time. So it's crazy to think that uh, 2019 was the last decent life of uh, this uh, life or this world, I should say. But uh, yeah, man, very cool. Very happy how this display turned out. You can see there's some more in the back. And there you go. Spidey holding his mask. Well, it's not really his mask uh, loose, but you know, it's just the head, but just to pretend he's look to look like he's holding a mask. But yeah, this is the display. I mean, I'm really proud of how this turned out. So. Let's get on with the villain shelf. And the villains, uh, I've been uh, like, I've been buying a lot of villains lately. Um, now I'm not gonna lie, I've been cutting back on Marvel Legends, just because the prices on these guys have been getting so, so expensive. It is crazy how times have changed. Like, it's so crazy. I never thought Marvel Legends would come to this, you know, you know, this time of like it's just super expensive man like holy crap you can't even afford a bunch of marvel legends anymore it's just it's just so i don't know but overall it's just crazy how everything has changed um but but i still do enjoy collecting and you know this is my hobby so you know it's supposed to be fun <clears throat> but getting the figures nowadays is just a hassle nowadays so you can see there's some more in here Got Green Goblin, and you can see the Stiggy Tech is kind of you gotta fix that. But that right there, you got Thanos, Modok, really cool figure. Um, and I saw Ant Man, by the way. Um, I, I I liked it. It wasn't the best, but it was good for what it was. The Modok uh, character in the movie was okay too. It wasn't the best, but they could have. I feel like they could have shown Modoka a bit better in the movie in my opinion yeah bulldozer is that bulldozer i think that's what his name is called it's been years <laughs> i don't remember a lot of people's names or these characters names doc ock and you got more here you got jigsaw 
Batroc. I say it like French, but it's Batroc. Okay, you got Red Skull, Carnage, Cletus Cassidy, or AK Cletus Cassidy, Bullseye, Doctor Doom, Sandman, The Leader, Kingpin, Dormammu, or Dormammu, or however you want to call it, Venom, AK Eddie Brock, Taskmaster, Claw, Kang the Conqueror back there. Forgot her name, but she's pretty cool too. But yeah, that's the villain display. So let's get on with the Spidey Rogues Gallery shelf. Yeah, you can see I have to clean the shelf. It's really dusty. Um, I usually clean once a month. But um, since I have a bunch of figures, it's just a little... It's, uh, it's kind of hard to... You know keep track of cleaning the display every time but yeah so here's the villains attacking spidey pretty much i think this is the same pose i had him back in 2019 uh, of course uh, i changed everyone but same pose and you know but i i'm pretty sure this is the same uh display or the same you know at least poses that i had him back then but i did change uh figures wise so the goblin you know this is the retro green goblin figure which i freaking love like look how sick he looks yes i customized his eyes um i thought the pupils on his eyes were too big uh in my taste but uh just painted it with yellow paint and some added some black dot and i think it looks so much better you got rhino also from the retro wave yeah uh damn i forgot his name Jack-o'-lantern, Hobgoblin, you got Tombstone, Hydro Man, Chameleon, Shocker, I painted the lines because he needed it, and I don't know why that line on his chest looks orange compared to everything on his body, might have to fix that, and of course Mysterio, retro version of Mysterio, I, I do have, I still have the, uh, the Mysterio figure that I got for the Lizard Wave, the Build-A-Figure Wave. So I still have that, but I think this looks 10 times better. And of course, the new Scorpion figure, which looks super freaking sick. Uh, I think I definitely prefer this over the the metallic green that came out years, uh, well, I'd say like 2019, I think. I forgot which wave that was, but it was a metallic green and the flesh tone on his face wasn't even showing it was just uh it was just molded in green so i think this looks way better craven the hunter you got lizard the builder figure lizard and i do have the uh the the retro uh well walmart exclusive uh lizard um i think i'm gonna put him but i'm not sure because i feel like this is still a, fr a freaking cool builder figure in my opinion you got vulture I forgot these characters' name, man. It's been years. But yeah, Electro, Black Cat. Some more back there. Sandman, Carnage, Morbius, Scream. You got Shriek. Painted her hair. Just customized a little bit, give it some blue highlight. You got the Beetle, Female Beetle. And my favorite, favorite figure. I can't even speak. Favorite figure, Hammerhead. Uh, I forgot this guy's name. Correct me in the comments below if you know his name. Anti-Venom. Of course, Eddie Brock Venom. And no, I do not have the new uh, Eddie Brock Venom that came in that... Uh, I think it was a symbiote... Was it a four-pack, I think? I think it was a four-pack. It came with Venom. Uh, some female symbiote character. I forgot her name. No, I think it was only three, actually. It's a three-pack. But uh, I want to get that one, but it's so freaking expensive. Like, 70 bucks, maybe even more, but I don't know. We'll see. But I'm I'm, I'm pretty... I'm still happy with this Venom. Um, just because, you know, this Venom brings a lot of memories. And believe it or not, <laughs> this Venom, um, I actually like it because, I don't know, it just... Brings me back to the old times and uh, the fact that I found him at Toys R Us when Toys R Us were still in business. 
So that's another, you know, that sucks that Toys R Us no longer um, exists. Well, they do, but it's always it's only in Macy's, um, Macy's uh, malls or something like that. But it's not the same, you know. I just wish you can just have Toys R Us as a full store. We got Doc Ock, and yes, I customized the tentacles, the arms. I used a LED, uh, what do you call it? Those uh, LED, not LED. USB lights for the computers. I think that's how you call it, USB. Um, you just basically just uh, cut it, apply it with a plier. Um, you drill out the holes in the back just so you can fit the hole better. And of course you just uh, put, put these little claw things and then you just stick them up there and glue it. Or if you want, you could do ball joints, however you want. I personally just use the ball joint. Uh, people just glue it in place. But here's Spidey getting pinned down by Doc Ock. This is the uh, retro Spider-Man. And of course you can see the webs that I added here just to give it a little bit, you know, some action going on, depth, I should say. But yeah, man, overall, very cool. Now here is the main display. As you can see, this has grown a lot, actually. Well, not really, but you know, I've added more characters obviously maybe i removed some characters that were too big in the display and i just couldn't fit them in but uh overall this display is pretty much i would say kind of the same and a lot of difference um but yeah you got and of course i got the new spider-man the renew your vow spider-man which i think is a dope figure in my opinion you got scarlet witch and yeah, i don't know if you can see but back there blocking by spider-man's foot but there's war machine thor ghost rider wasp um i also added the new head that came in that maria hill um figure or it was a maria hill i it was a different character but i came with a maria hill head but uh i added the other head to this one just because i thought the wasps the original head skull for the wasp figure was terrible and so you just, you know, added that. I had to add that just to improve the look of the figure. Silver Surfer. You got Falcon right here. You got Luke Cage back there. You got Iron Fist, Elektra, Punisher, Hellcat back there. I don't know if you can tell, but she's behind Punisher. She-Hulk, which I think is a dope figure, but I'm still waiting on a classic She-Hulk figure. Can't wait for that. Oh, and I can't wait for that classic Iron Fist. Oh, I'm not. I'm sorry, not Iron Fist. Uh, Luke Cage. I think that classic Luke Cage looks way, way cool, or way cooler, man. You got Thing, Blade. You got Sue Storm, Invisible Woman. You got Daredevil, Human Torch. You got Mister Fantastic, The Incredible Hulk. I still decided to use the uh, the 80th anniversary Hulk. I was gonna use the 20th anniversary Hulk, but I uh, I don't know. It's just this green just pops and it just gives it a classic feel. Got the modular Iron Man. This is more of the 90s look of Iron Man. The armor, pretty cool. You got Hawkeye back there. That's uh, actually the old one. That's not the retro one. Um, I think they uh, re they announced they were going to do a classic Hawkeye, so I can't wait for that. And I'm sorry if the camera is not focusing and moving a lot. I'm holding it with one hand, so I do apologize. But you got the new tw uh, 20th anniversary Captain America, which is a dope figure. Can't highly recommend for anybody who's a fan of the, the classic look for Captain America. Got the new Black Panther figure. Wait, needed a, an improvement. Just This is a w huge improvement over the Walmart exclusive uh, Black Panther. Now, that figure was okay for the time it came out, but... This one just takes the cake. It is so much better. The the at least the proportion and it just looks you know bulkier and just gives it you know like the character Black Panther, T'Challa. You got Winter Soldier, Spider Woman, Vision. I think I already said Scarlet Witch, Doctor Strange, the classic version. This one is really hard to find. So good luck on finding this. Uh, got lucky just ordered online at Walmart.com. So. I think it is a Walmart exclusive, so yeah. You got, um, oh, I forgot his name. Uh, what's his name? Quicksilver. 
Ant-Man, Black Widow, Tigra, pretty dope figure. You got the X-Men crew right here. You got Jean, Cyclops, Wolverine, Gambit, Colossus. Uh, I forgot his name, but that I know that's uh, Summer's the Summer brother. You got Rogue, Deadpool back there. Forgot his name, Moon Knight, Namor. You got Cloak and Dagger. Nova, I think I said Cable already, uh, Medusa, I think that's her name, it's, it's been, like I said, it's been years since I remember all these characters' names, Psylocke, and you got Storm, probably my favorite figure, uh, at least uh, look-wise, it looks really, really cool, I'm still a fan of the 90s look, but this was, this one is a really uh, look, it's a good look that you can't go wrong for Storm, so. So yeah, that is the whole display for that shelf. So hope I'm give you guys a quick look on that. So let's move on to the X-Men display. There's a whole bunch of characters on this X-Men display. So I'm probably just gonna show it from this view just cause I don't feel like showing everyone in the back. Or you know what, I, why not? I'll just show everyone in the back, but you got some on the wall Pin, use the push pins and uh, try to make it look like they're flying. So you got Jean Phoenix, I should say, or whatever, Jean Grey. You got Rogue. Uh, some other characters <laughs> forgot the names. It's crazy how I forgot everyone's name. Archangel, Dark Phoenix, Siron, uh, Scarlet Witch. Lady Deathstrike got this a few years ago. I think I got this when the when the pandemic started. I think no, I think I got it. No, I think it was a year before the pandemic started. I don't remember, but I've had it for a while now. I'm not very good with dates, so I apologize for that. You got Juggernaut, Mister Sinister, Deadpool, Omega Red, Magneto, Apocalypse, Mystique, Sabretooth. Some more villains right here. You can see in the back. If I don't say the names, it's probably because I forgot them and I don't feel like saying it because I don't want to butcher their names. You got Iceman, Sunfire, Kitty Pride, Colossus, Storm, Bishop, Nightcrawler. Some more characters back here. Cable, Gambit, Jubilee, Professor X, Wolverine, Cyclops, Dazzler, Boom Boom. You got um, Cyclops' uh, brother. Uh, I forgot his name. Uh, man. <sighs> it sucks when I forget the names, man. I feel like I know it. but And I think he's tipped over. Is he tipped? Yeah, he's tipped over. Let me fix him real quick. There we go. Now he's fine. So there you go. Psylocke. I think I said Psylocke already, but yeah. That is the whole X-Men display. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that view. That is the whole display for the X-Men. Now, let's get on with the ceiling uh, Spider-Man. Trying to get this like a uh, Spider-Verse vibe on the ceiling. So obviously there's characters you're not gonna see that are not Spider-Man related, like this guy right here, just cause I have no space, so. I'm just gonna show you how everyone looks on the ceiling because I don't feel like going everywhere in the ceiling just showing everything independently, but that is how everything looks in the, on the ceiling. So you got Peter Parker right here with the camera. Yeah, you got Spider-Man and Gwen Stacy right here. You got the symbiote Spider-Man that came in that Craven uh, two pack. And you got Mary Jane, Hobgoblin, and the rest, Spider-Punk, Agent Venom, Spider-Man 2099. There you go. Oh, and you got the Toybus Hobgoblin back there. Still one of my favorites. Black Suit Spider-Man. And Demo Goblin. I think that's what you call it. No, it's not Demo Goblin. That's a that's a green goblin. I think it's a Carnage symbiote uh version of Goblin, but I forgot that name. 
But yeah, that's uh, the display for the ce uh, the ceiling. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And let me show you right here. I don't really collect Funko Pops, but I had to get these guys just because if you guys haven't seen No Way Home, go watch it. It is so good. Um, a lot of people say the movie, there was a lot of critics saying that it was too uh, nostalgic glasses, but hey, that's the point of the movie. So, you know, everybody wanted to see Tobey Maguire again as Spider-Man. So just the fact that he was in the movie is just so, so cool, man. I was... When that movie came out, it was, Jesus, it was very good. I think a lot of people have got emotion when they saw Tobey Maguire. But yeah, that's a Tobey Maguire Funko Pop. You got Andrew, Tom, the final suit swing. Uh, yeah, uh, that is that. Yeah, that's the suit that he wore when he's the, for, for the final swing. You got the 12 inch Marvel Legends Wolverine, Captain America. You got Spider Man right here. You got. Mayfix Spider-Man. That one is broken. Um, the arms are broken, so I had to get another one. Uh, I was going to uh, exchange it, but they just told me to keep the broken one and then just send me a replacement. So I was like, all right, why not? You got the Toy Biz icons. You got Captain America, Spidey. Oh, that Daredevil is not Toy Biz, but it's Hasbro. But it kind of looks like Toy Biz. And Venom right here. And then you got a Spider-Man bust from the animated series. Pretty dope. Deadpool statue. Another Mayfix Spider-Man. Same one, just really cool. And of course the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. And the black suit, 12 inch. And the Spider-Man 12 inch. And you got Stan Lee right here. And some more Funko Pops of Tom Holland's movie. So yeah, that is pretty silly. And a big poster of the whole Marvel characters. And you got an X-Men poster. And I think that's it. Basically, that is it for that. And let's show off the display right here. Sorry about the, the, the reflection of the sun. So there's Spider-Man. Rhino and yeah, I did put the build a figure Rhino in that package just because um, I didn't know where to put them. Same thing with Scorpion. You might see some uh, figures that are <laughs> inaccurate to their packaging, but I was like, you know what? Why not? So they're the same figure, so they can still fit in. But uh, I just put the old Scorpion in the retro packaging. Black suit Spider Man. Love this figure. Half of these uh, are already open. I just uh, put them back in the box. This one is unopened just because I have two of these guys because I love this. Daredevil, he is also opened. I'll tell you which is open and which is not. This uh, hammerhead is not open. Hobgoblin is also not open. Obviously Mysterio is open because it's the you know old figure. Shocker, that is unopened. Lizard is opened. You got Gambit, who is, uh, is he open? Yeah, he's opened. And Storm back here, you can't really see, but there's Storm. Maybe if I move the chair. Yeah, there you go, Storm. She is also unopened. And the uh, 90s white version of uh, Suit of Storm, also unopened. And majority of these boxes, I think, are pretty are pretty much open too. This is open. Vulture is open. Green Goblin is open. Doc Ock, uh, I don't remember. I think he's open too. Jubilee. Yeah, I think uh, half of these guys are open already. Just put them back. But yeah, and then some more here. You got the the Bag Man, Spider Man. The reflection is just terrible, and you can't really see. But yeah, you got that empty box back uh, next to Wolverine and the camera is not focusing for some reason you got Carnage and yeah that's basically it and a poster of Marvel and you got this poster right here too so yeah that's basically it guys so hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, like I said I decided to just uh, record Cause, you know it's been three years since i last posted on youtube so hopefully you guys enjoyed that and yeah 
I hope hopefully you guys uh let me know what you guys think of the collection so far. I would like to know your guys' feedback. Um I'm not promising that I'm gonna go back on YouTube, but I I'll try. You know, if if you guys really, really want me back, you know, I'll give it a shot. Why not? But like I said, I've been working a lot, so work has been very uh tiring for me. Uh, so you know, everyone's gotta work, make that bill, make that money. And yeah. So yeah, that's all I have to say, guys. So please comment, subscribe. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you really enjoy this video. And I hope you guys enjoy the whole update of my collection in 2023 after three years of last the last time I uh, uploaded on YouTube. So, so yeah, guys. So yeah, that's pretty it. That's pretty much it. And I will talk to you guys soon. So please, like I said, like I said, uh, please comment, subscribe. Uh, like I said, uh, I would like to know your guys' feedback. Uh, let me know how you guys have been. And yeah, and this is uh, Spidey1997 signing out and have a great day. Thanks for watching, guys.